don't like change. Shut up, I had to take a trip to California to film a video for some douchebag. Just roll with it. Growing up, I was always a huge, huge fan of hip-hop, so it was only natural that I make a video addressing it and all the changes inside of it. People are so quick to say, oh, hip-hop is dead. No, it's not. Hip-hop was in a coma and the nurse came by, put a pillow over his face to try to kill it, but just before it died, the bitch was like, oh no, I can't do this, and left. But oh well, bitch, the damage is done. It's true, that's how it went down. But MK, if that's really how it went down, who put hip-hop in a coma? And who's the nurse that made it retarded? Well, stuff another cheeseburger in your fat lips, you dumb bitch, and I'll tell you. Okay, it's time for some knowledge. Hip-hop started as sort of a black folks rock and roll. It was musical expression, and it was beautiful, passionate, fun. And in the years to come, it evolved, just like all things do. And it was awesome. It went from being pretty heavily influenced by disco to being deeper, realer, grittier, more competitive. It became more than just I said a hip hop, the heavy, the heavy to the hip, hip hop, and you don't stop the rock. Yeah, fuck that shit. It became more than just feel good dance music. It started to become a battle for supremacy. Hip hop became a sport, and that made things exponentially more interesting. And so was born the MC. A rap artist concerned only with gaining the respect and admiration of his peers after besting them lyrically. Soon after this, Beef was born. And that spurred deeper and deeper rivalries, which in turn made better and better hip hop. But the bigger and more popular hip hop got, the more attention it gained from Hollywood. And so began the slow and eventual decline of hip-hop. With hip-hop already having a rebellious image, Hollywood took it a step further. With crime and gang violence at an all-time high, a bunch of old white dudes in a stuffy back room filled with cigar smoke said, Hmm, now let's see. How do we get these Negroes to make us some money? What they did was make hip-hop gangster rap and made actual gangsters rap artists. Groups like Public Enemy and N.W.A. made gangster rap the only hip-hop anybody ever listened to and was some of the most ignorant and racially degrading bullshit that has ever graced planet Earth. Example, cruising down the street in my 6 fall, jacking the bitches, slapping the hoes. Went to the park to get the scoop, knuckleheads out there, Straight shoes and moves. <sighs> and that's why George Bush Sr. gave Easy E AIDS. If you're out there right now and you think Easy E is a talented rapper, you're a fucking moron. Only reason he got famous in the first place is because he exploited that stereotypical gangster image that everybody had back then. And that's it. Even though I standards those days, he's not a super talented rapper. Compare him to Karis One, Tupac, Biggie, LL Cool J, Beastie Boys. He was complete shit. These good rappers is what kept hip hop afloat back then, namely Tupac and Biggie. When everyone else was rapping about the most mind numbingly pointless. Bullshit, these two stayed at the forefront of hip-hop with the realest, most grittiest songs, but at the same time, they were politically and socially conscious. These two were some of the best of their time. Did you hear that? The best of their time. Another truth about Tupac and Biggie, they are wildly overrated. I say this because as time went by, hip-hop continued to evolve and gave birth to more and more talented rappers. The only reason why they are so highly regarded today is because they died before they had the time to sell out. Like everyone does. Hintity hint hint. I can think of a half a dozen rappers right off the top of my head that would annihilate them in a battle if they were alive today. Eminem, Andre 3000, Common, Nas, T.I. and Lil Wayne. What? Lil Wayne? You can't be serious, MK. You're a fucking moron. Why don't you just fucking die? No! Shut the fuck up! Lil Wayne used to be a phenomenal rapper! The Carter 2 made my dick rock hard! But you know what happened? Lil Wayne sold out. Like everyone does. Hip Hop went into the ICU the day Lil Wayne said he was the best rapper alive. Why? Because at that time, Lil Wayne had become the rapper that was more concerned about just putting things out there and becoming more exposed than putting out quality material. This made everyone in the business look at each other and say, hell no, this nigga ain't the best rapper alive. But everyone buying his music said, hell yes he is. Which made everyone in the business go, yeah, okay, sorry. So everyone else started cranking out album after crap album and mixtape after piss poor mixtape. Content had shifted from being about life and social awareness to pointless materialism and gimmicks. Anyone with a good beat and cool clothes or contacts in their eyes could be a popular rapper. Oh, shit. So you got a problem with motherfuckers who wear contacts? No, not you, man. I, I, I like your songs. I, they're good. What's up, <laughs> man? Somebody let a, a bug in here before. Not you. Not you, though. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you like me now, motherfucker? How you like me? Yeah. How you like me now, motherfucker? God damn it. Ah, yeah. Fucking asshole.
Can't take a fucking joke. Anyway, people were like, Derp it, derp it, derp I don't care about anything that matters. I just want to know how much your chain costs. Nothing was real anymore. Nothing. Is any rapper really a gangster? No. That shit just blows me away. Anyone that's watched a fucking episode of Gangland knows that real gangsters will kill these douchebags on sight. Game claims he's a blood but had the nerve to throw a C up and bang Crip in the Martian vs. Goblins video. Game. You're gonna fucking die, man. They're gonna kill you. Rick Ross worked 18 months as a corrections officer. I made a couple million dollars last year dealing weight. No, nigga, you didn't. You ate a couple million donuts last year gaining weight. What I'm saying is it became cool to sell out. Fans of hip-hop began to glorify and worship rappers that simply rub their wealth in their faces. Your fans can't afford to pay rent, but you want to brag about how your wrist piece costs more than their house. But the real shame is people eat the shit up. And with all these established rap artists putting in less and less effort into their music, it was no longer necessary for a rapper to have any discernible rap talent at all. You just needed a catchy song and a nice beat and boom, you're in there. And that's what opened the floodgates to the South. This untapped territory unleashed an unholy torrential downpour of shit rappers that made it more and more possible for any moron with the trial version of Fruity Loops to become an overnight success. And that's exactly what happened. Almost anyone that could wear a nice chain and slap a decent video together got rich. You can literally say nothing and make a multi-million dollar song. Case in point, YC's Racks on Racks featuring Future. To this day, I don't know what this nigga's saying. I don't! I don't know! Racks on Racks on Racks Racks on Racks on Racks Can't bank on just strong Been looking, can't find my phone These hoes won't leave me alone <laughs> what is wrong with your mouth? That's not even a southern accent. I have never met anyone from any part of the south that talks like that. It sounds like someone clapped your jaw with a brick. And that future guy is even worse. If you haven't heard it by now, look up a song by him. It's called Tony Montana. The song itself is bad enough, but his voice, it, it's so, I don't have the words. Future, it sounds like you super glued your lips to your teeth and tried to rap while gargling peanut butter. Stop rapping and go back to collecting those disability checks like all those other retards, you piece of stupid butt fuck. <sighs> okay, I got a little off topic. Back to what I was saying. Everyone likes to place blame on who's responsible for the deterioration of hip hop. Oh, it's Lil Wayne. Oh, it's Soulja Boy. Oh, it's Waka Flocka. No. These people were the nurse. They contributed to hip hop becoming fucking retarded. Who originally put hip hop into a coma? You did. The consumer. You allowed hip hop to become what it is by just accepting the shit music your favorite artist was putting out. You never said, well this isn't anything like you 50 Cent or Lil Wayne or Kanye West. I'm not gonna support these moves you're making. Instead you said, oh he got another album coming out talking about popping bottles in a club? I'm a cop that shit. And because these talented rappers started turning out untalented albums, untalented rappers came out and started turning out complete shit. Stop blaming them, blame yourself. You let Hollywood tell you what was good and you didn't question it. If you want things to change, support talented artists. Simple. Hey Hop, you still here? Yeah, what's up? Come on man, let's go get drunk. I don't drink though. Then watch me get drunk! Oh man, how much do you hate me? Anyway, yeah, the site is finally up, so go there and check it out. There's all kinds of cool stuff there, so you're bound to have some fun. It is still really new, so it's subject to some changes here and there depending on what you guys want and how I want to build onto it, but I will be adding things on every week, so be sure to check in as much as you can. I will be posting videos there that you won't be able to see on YouTube, so keep that in mind. Anyway, make my day and check out the site. I know you love it. Or not, I really don't fucking care. I'm playing. I worked really fucking hard on this, so don't be a dick. Check it out.